So let's say you're a company, technology company, or any other company, and you're interested in selling your company in Africa. What are your options? You know, how can you do that? What's the process? Is there companies out there that um, engage in, in this type of uh, transaction? This is the topic of today. Fear failure. As long as it's not going to kill you, it's going to make you what? Stronger. Now, after my trip, I, I, I went pitching in Chicago about a few months, well, a month and a half ago. And it, it just dumped me. I realized that companies in the States, that's the ecosystem I know the most, companies in the States understand and, and pretty much have the whole ecosystem where if, if you have a technology, if you have a company, there's a process for you. If a buyer is interested in what you're doing, if a buyer wants to add your company to a value chain, there is that opportunity, there is that access and um and you hear all the time you know start up after two years or or i heard stories of of of, uh, of startup just coming up with a concept uh not even the the prototyping and all but just the concept and being able to sell it um uh, on the concept stage right and uh that's what i want to talk to you guys about because especially in the technology space because that's where the 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 the, the new space that is growing tremendously in Africa, number one. Number two, that's a space that takes a long time to uh, uh, generate revenue because, you know, technology, and there's different uh, variables in, in technology companies. There's some technology company that are highly profitable after a year, but most of them, you know, collect a lot of data, change certain process, but to monetize still a big, big ch challenge for most technology company and uh, so what do you do if you have a technology company but you want to see if there's a buyer out there or if if uh, you want to see if somebody might be interested in your technology because some company like anywhere in the world and in Africa is no different if you have a big machine that swallow you and now you have the, the, the this big machine supporting you to grow your business imagine if your company get bought by Facebook for example you know, how, how much resources would you have? It'll, it, it, it'll be tremendous. You know, you, you won't have to worry about raising your series A, B or C uh, and always raising capital to grow or to figure it out, to, to, to update your technology. Now you have resources of hundreds of thousands of employees of, of, of software engineer that you can tap into. You know, you, you already have the whole ecosystem that you can uh, uh, plug into. So it, it, it's amazing, you know? So what option do we have in Africa? So one of our advisors um, told me about transaction advisory. Never heard of that before. And I, I, I don't know about you guys, but uh, every time I learn something new, man, I got, I got to share it, man. And um, transaction advisory. So I went on Google, like I always do and uh, tag transaction advisory. And if you don't know what it is, I, I highly uh, uh, advise you guys to, to go on Google and, and type it up. But, um, and I saw a lot of uh, company that includes, and they're usually financial company. And basically what it is, is they, they, they deal with transaction advisory. Yeah, they, they deal with transaction between companies. Um, and most of them are concentrated where? In South Africa, funny enough. A few in the States, um, but mostly in South Africa, man. It's just to tell you how developed that ecosystem is. Uh, but uh, so as I always do, I send a bunch of email. Uh, only actually three replied. Uh, and what was very interesting, so their job and, and what the feedback I got, and I'm sharing the feedback basically, number one, they mentioned that uh, most companies um, that have been sold 
uh, it's, it's, it's just about network, right? Most of the transaction advisory already have contacts with big companies, big corporations. They already have a relationship with those companies. And they go to them and say, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm interested in this company, or I'm interested in that company, or I'm interested in, in this type of solution. The second thing they mentioned was, if you're a technology company in Africa, and you just want to sell um, the technology, it's very unlikely. Because technology have very or, or no value for African companies compared to the states and all, which blew my mind. I was like, wow, that's crazy. But unfortunately, this is the mindset of the ecosystem we in. They said that they, they're more interested in the company than the, the whole just a technology. So whatever you do, you have to build a company around that. I mean, you have to build a company with your technology, prove the business case, et cetera, et cetera. The third thing, and uh, that really was uh, aligning is um, none of them that I talked to were dealing with small companies or startups. They only do transaction advisory for big corporations because they get a, a percentage. So they get paid fee plus a, a, a piece of the sale, right? And uh, that's just the way. So it's more lucrative for them to deal with the big, big guys than the small guys. And uh, this is more of a question than a statement. If anybody, anyone out there knows about transaction advisory in Africa and has some experience um, in that space and, and know companies that deal with uh, SMEs or startups that are very interesting technology, you know, please do share uh, somewhere on the, on the web, uh, on the platform, um, on the comments somewhere, please. Because it'll be very interesting to know. Because my goal is we need to, first of all, disseminate all this information and, and find who's really trying to build this ecosystem, who's trying to contribute to this whole ecosystem, right? Because there's so much of one thing and not enough on others. And we're not talking about these things, about merger and acquisition enough. I don't know why. But that's a conversation that it's not being on the forefront. Because, and that's the last thing that I, I want to add, you know, we keep talking about the ecosystem, we, we keep talking about entrepreneurship, we keep talking about investment, but we're not talking about exit strategy, you know? And one of the exit strategy, besides going public, is merging acquisition. And if you don't solve that ecosystem, it's going to be, a, you know, we're not going to be able to move forward, period.